Hey man, remember how hard it was to make like simple things like bottles? It wasn't just hard, it was time consuming. Yeah, I'm thinking of one particular example where you're using a sweep with guide curves and you're making like this profile and path mm -hmm. and the guide curves and it's just really hard to tie it all together. Yeah, and the worst part is you had to really like think where to put the sketch plane, how to sketch it out, and really I just wanted to explore a couple concepts really quickly. And talking about sketch planes and sketching it out and placing everything brings me to this hook example that I think is like mm -hmm. embodies how difficult it was to make the, these shapes. But let me show you a new way of doing it using Fusion 360. You're probably thinking that modeling this with Fusion 360 surfacing will be similarly challenging, and I'd have to agree. But what if we use a totally different modeling technique, like sculpting with T-splines? Using sculpting, you'll be able to make this same shape in literal minutes. We'll be using a canvas as a guide, a calibrated canvas at that. Then we'll start with an unassuming sculptable cylinder. What's important here is that we have enough faces to capture all the right details along the path but it's always editable later. We'll also make sure to add symmetry to make future edits easier. From there, we'll be using the Edit Form tool almost exclusively. Using this, we can change that perfect cylinder into an elliptical shape. We can rotate and drag the body into the correct location. And with a double click on the bottom edge, we'll select that chain and Alt-Drag to add a whole new set of faces. In the next section, we'll start to create that flared shape on the inner portion of the hook. This just requires moving some of the edges out or in. And in the back, you can see we're starting to detach from that canvas, so we'll grab that vertex and slide it into position. From there, it's more of the same. Alt-drag, rotate, drag, rotate, and so on and so forth. This incredibly powerful, yet simple approach will enable you to create things that you never thought possible before. Perhaps the best part about this version of the hook, and the design method behind it, is not that upfront time savings, but instead the opportunity to make changes to it later. Edit the sculpt feature at any time in the history to press and pull those faces to accommodate changing requirements. You'll find ample opportunity to use this incredible design method, whether you're adjusting that motorcycle windscreen for added aerodynamics, altering your reciprocating saw grips for better ergonomics, or widening that CNC router dust collector to capture more particles. And that's just one small part of what's included in your subscription to Fusion 360.